The Amputated Limbs of Children I want my legs back, the girl cried in Arabic. I want my legs back. You can't have your legs back, little girl. They have been eaten by a hungry machine who needs them for fuel to power its gears. The machine needs your legs to keep the sky raining bombs and to make its death robots fly. Your legs power the bulldozers digging mass graves and the tanks blowing holes in the hospitals. A glorious kingdom is held together by the amputated limbs of children. A pentagon-shaped castle is built from the bones of the amputated limbs of children. Wall Street werewolves and bank boys dine on the amputated limbs of children. Movie stars treat their wrinkles with creams made from the amputated limbs of children. Suburban families prop up their smiles with the amputated limbs of children. The newsman lies, and in his eyes you see the amputated limbs of children. The podium man smirks, and between his teeth are the amputated limbs of children. And the little girl cries, and the newsman ignores her, and the podium man smirks at her, and the bank boy bites her, and the machine rolls on, limbs fed into its furnace with pitchforks, crushing houses and blackening the sky, poisoning the oceans and bloodying the earth, while the air fills with the crying of children, for limbs that will never come back, for homes that will never come back, for mothers that will never come back, for childhoods that will never come back, for brightness that will never come back, for innocence that will never come back, for dreams that will never come back, for joy that will never come back. And here we are, eating cheesy meat carbs and watching funny haw-haws and gossiping and prattling and wishing we looked better and trying not to think about all the tiny arms and legs we see covering the earth whenever we step outside.